Dad, not only does that look good, not only is that going to taste good, but you, Ed, will appreciate this. That was made oh, in our green a ghost. kitchen. In your green kitchen. Yeah, literally, it's, it's green. Painting green. <laughs> it's very nice. So I just I wanted to point that out. Yes. Yes. That, yes, it is green. It is green. We've got but a lot of green lighting here. Yeah, we do. Energy efficient lighting. There is. I'm there glad is. you noticed. And a lot that. just came in the back door because oh. the ghosts came in. Seriously, oh, yeah. Dave Lowe. It open. Lighting. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have to. Okay, well, I, I'm going to leave it open for now, but he is the owner and executive chef of Lily's Q. His sauces and rubs are sold all over the United States, and he is best known for his award-winning barbecue, so please welcome Chef Charlie McKenna to our home. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, your restaurant, Lily's Q, is uh, named after your grandma? It's named after my grandmother and my father. So and your father? They're both inspirations in my cooking life. Early with my grandmother cooking shrimp and grits and country ham and biscuits and gravy in the kitchen, then my dad was the more barbecue side of it. His name is Keto, so the Q stands for barbecue as well as Keto. Mm. Uh, smell like and so smell obviously like they've inspired your love of cooking. Oh, love of cooking. My whole family, I mean, I'm from the South, so, you know, it's a lot of family traditions are always around the table and enjoying yourself. And, you know, that's where you learn things and talk about things. And it's, you know, it's a great experience that when, I had when I was younger. When did you start barbecuing your own sauce? Because that's really. Yeah. So the that. sauces came about because me and my dad started competition barbecue. And it was our little hobby to do together. Um, like some father and sons play golf. We did barbecue competitions around the South. But we needed different regional sauces because the sauces are different regionally. Um, for the competitions. We wanted people to taste what they were used to. So we... Uh, we have some there. Oh, you have three different yeah. sauces. I brought, oh, let's bring everything out yeah. so they can taste oh, it. That would be perfect. Different. You'd have something, something to dip it in. So what other sauces are we... Three favorites. Okay. Um, over here, you, Patrick, the littlest one you. is the uh, bourbon aid sauce. So it's smoking, and then we age it in bourbon barrels for six months. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to taste the sauces, which is a little spoon. No. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Is that good? Hot smoky, and then Carolina Gold, you have three which is our traditional here, so. southern yeah. South Carolina barbecue sauce. And all of us are from Georgia. Which one? I'm sorry, which one are we starting with? You can oh start with the one in the okay. little okay. kitchen. That's bourbon. Ooh, the spicy one is spicy. Yeah. You Hot smoke has got some kick. Version. That's so nice. You're Very welcome. thoughtful. No problem. Oh. So oh, we're also Hello. yummy. It's really good. Yeah, the Carolina wow. Gold is all one of my three favorites of them. from South Carolina. I don't know which one I like better because the they're all one. three of them. Oh, of course. Delicious. Mm. All right, well, let's get started on right. the chef. So wow. we're going to cook the grits, and uh, these are stone ground grits. Wow. So they're the you know the real deal. They take about 45 minutes to cook. The first thing you're going to do is heat your liquid up. It could be water. Okay. We use half and half and heavy cream at the restaurant. Um, and this is one of my favorite dishes um, that I love and loved growing up with my grandmother. And then also we serve it at the restaurants as well. Um, so we get um, stone ground grits, Carolina Plantation. Um, and as, as it simmers, you want to pour the grits in and whisk at the same time. And this really helps. While you do that, Chef, I'm going to shut the door. The non-clumping of the grits. All right, so once you get all the grits whisked in, you're going to see that most of it's a lot of liquid in the beginning. Um, but as the grits cook, they tend to soak up that liquid. All right? Mm. Um, I love grits. So as they soak up the liquid, if you, might be, you might have to add a little bit more liquid along the way. Um, and that's just because the grits, you know, they're different and they some soak up more than others. I love grits. Those are some um, good grits. Mm -hmm. So then we have um, butter. All right. So oh, we all, yeah. obviously we put the butter in there. I'm sorry. I have to. Uh, have some, maybe. Really good. Yeah. Thanks. And the butter really wait. brings Here, the richness and creaminess together. Mm -hmm. um, so when they're done, they, you know, they have a consistency of like polenta or mm. porridge. Sure. Um, is there cheese in here? There is zero cheese. Wow, it tastes really? cheesy, doesn't yeah. it? You'll see by the, mm. the by the fixed ones, wow. um, the ones that are already finished, that you have. Um, mm. It really gets a creaminess to it. The starch comes out of the corn, and that's where it creates the creaminess. A lot of people think my, my grits have cheese, but they don't. Mm. Um, so mm. we're gonna move on to the sauce part of it for the shrimp and grits. And this is a typical <laughs> good. New Orleans. Is that good too? The Southerners <laughs> approved. The three of us from Georgia. We all approved. We're all Southerners. <laughs> we all say yay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Creamy grits. <laughs> Obviously, I do barbecue, so we do have a New Orleans style barbecue sauce. Here we have the olive oil and the garlic that we toasted. You put in a little cocktail sauce, Worcestershire, mm. lemon juice, and this one's easy. You know, it's a dump and play basically. That's hot sauce, and then we have a little bit of liquid smoke. That's pretty powerful, I so you don't want to use too much. Then we have paprika, cayenne, oregano, and parsley. Can you come out with your cookbook. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, <laughs> takes time, right? So yeah, this sauce is really easy. Everything in the pot after you toasted the garlic, you simmer it for about 10 minutes. Okay. Then you're gonna at the end you're gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. 
Mm. All right, you, everyone's got to seat in all their food. It's the best thing to do. Yeah. Um, and then at the very end, what we do is we call it Bermonte or mounting butter. We'll throw in cold cubes of butter one at a time. And why do you put it in one at a time, Chef? Well, what we want to do is we want to keep the sauce together as a, a, a solid sauce. So if you if you try to throw all the butter in there, it melts too fast and it doesn't say um, emulsify. emulsify. Yeah, okay. So what we do is we mount it in and it emulsifies itself. And you want to the the colder the butter, the better. Um, so. After you molt in all the butter, you're going to take this sauce and you're going to cool it down a little bit. And that's so you can marinate the shrimp and not cook them. Oh, right? how long do you marinate it for? Shrimp, because it's seafood, it's not very long. It's not like a piece of beef or a piece of chicken. So we marinate this for about two hours okay. in the sauce. It, it gets a little sauce going um, into the shrimp. And then when we go to pick up the dish or cook it at home, you have your grits that are already ready, your, your extra sauce that is ready, and then you have the shrimp that you really just toast off. Um, very easy. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Very good. And how long very do you have to cook the shrimp for? Shrimp are very, very quick, okay? So most people think you have to cook them seven or ten minutes. It's really three to five minutes is the longest, depending on how high your heat is um, and how, how you're using the shrimp. So what we do is put the shrimp in there all flat. We'll take a little bit of sauce and we'll put it in put it in the pan to help baste the shrimp. Oh, I know. It's so good. good. If you want, we'll cook this up. And really, the idea behind shrimp is a quick, a quick cooking process. As soon as it kind of turns pink, it's getting done. So if I could have you plate yes. the grits, a little, a little circle, oh, right a in spoon the middle. for you. Okay, very good. All right. Well, I, well you. <laughs> oh, I could eat this whole pot. I like how grits. nobody's talking. <laughs> and you know what? I was, I was going to ask if I could eat a shrimp because they're not cooked yet. They're all oh, gone. Not one person. What? We'll get this cooked real quick for you. You had, you just put that in your mouth, Mark. I saw that. I've got a tail left here. So, oh, as well, I like, to use, um, I like to cook with a lot of cast iron. Yeah. Um, because that's the traditional southern cooking equipment. It's nice. It's a lot of what my grandma. I actually have my grandmother's cast iron that she cooks her cornbread in, <gasps> and she did her country ham in, and I have it in my personal kitchen at home that I still use. Oh. Are you com you continuing the cycle? Do you have a, you have a daughter, right? I have a daughter, Hope, it nine years old, who has been in my restaurant since she was four, spends a lot of time with me at barbecue competitions. I've had her clean a whole pig before. Oh, wow, uh, look at her go. Wow. Yeah, on screen there, she's cutting up hot link at a, a festival that we were she's serving serious. hot link at. Good yeah, she did. chef. Look at her go. So the shrimp, you can see, <laughs> finishes quite early. So we'll okay. take uh, Look how beautiful this that looks a beautiful so shot good. Oh, Look just enough for one for each of us. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Oh, oh, yeah if anybody wanted another any. shrimp, I can uh, pass them over if you'd like. Yeah, over here. Yeah. Very good, very good. And I think 